On the floor for the visitors, the Detroit Pistons. At point guard, Killing. And now the starting lineup for your Los Angeles Lakers. Starting a small forward at six foot six inches. Number seven, Croy Brown Jr. At the point guard position, six feet one inches. Number 21, Patrick Beverly. At the other guard position, six feet four inches. Number four, Lonnie Walker the fourth. The man in the middle, six feet ten inches. Number three, A.D. Anthony Davis. At four, six, nine, number six, LeBron James. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan, and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Aldridge joins us on the sidelines. GA, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Sadiq Bey was the 19th pick in 2020, and he's earned big minutes for the Pistons. He said, my whole career, I've never been highly touted, but I found the confidence within myself to perform at a high level. I don't really listen to what other people say. I just focus on how much better I can get each and every day. Kevin, I do the same thing. Back to you. And David, I can tell, and it's working. <laughs> D.A., thanks. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. He's out there with Ivy. Then it's Sadiq Bey. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich, and it's Bagley in at the center. And for the Lakers, they'll go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then there's Brown, and it's Walker in at the shooting guard. And when you look at the complete game of the Detroit Pistons, there are struggles on both ends of the floor, which I'm sure can feel discouraging at times. Now here's LeBron. Left side Walker jacks up a three. It doesn't go for him. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Detroit Pistons. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Yeah, what, what we saw in that game and what you see around the league is a questionable dependency on the triple. You know, if you're cold from range, there are other ways to score. You can post up, dribble drive, get out in transition. Brown wide open. He fires. Offline with his three. Looking at the Pistons' recent performance break, which end would you want to see improve first? Kevin, I'd have to say defense. More stops means more chances in the open floor, and it would help them keep games competitive. And so it's the Pistons getting on the board first. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. And finished off by Davis. The defense keeping its attention on LeBron. He hits the roller in stride. The Pistons have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Now, here's Ivy. Six on the shot clock. Bagley. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And he's just an attacking player. A guy who doesn't mind a little contact. Bagley there with a strong finish. Davis with a screen on Bay. James finds Davis. And he elevates for the slam dunk. And Marvin Bagley did not like that. The grace, the athleticism. Most bigs could not have pulled that off. But AD makes it look easy. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Hayes. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Hey. 
Bagley the screen. Hayes, no good. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Bagley against LeBron. And LeBron throws it down the line. And what an explosive finisher LeBron is. Rocking the rim whenever he goes up like that. Well, we know we're in the later stages of his career, but Steve. It's just simply incredible, mind-boggling, really, how athletic LeBron James remains. Kevin, to put it frankly, we've never seen anything like this. He's still getting up with ease for some vicious throwdowns, a testament to how hard he works. Here's Beverly, Marvin Bagley picking up that last basket. From the baseline, the rebound by Ivy. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. And finish off by Bagley. Yeah, great timing there. Bagley gets off the ground so quickly, gives the defense no chance to react. Now here's LeBron. He's one of the better scorers in the league, averaging almost 25 points a game. And it's Davis missing. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Now, here's Ivy, guarded by Walker. And here's Ivy. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Outside, Walker. Back to James. And here's Brown, outside. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got three assists tonight. The awareness of LeBron knows where everyone is on the floor at all times. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. You know what time it is? T-shirt time. Stat sheet here for Sadiq Bey. There's a minute 40 left here in the first quarter. And Steve, for a lot of reasons, last year was a very frustrating season for the Lakers. Reason why Kevin, LeBron, and AD were out for extended periods. Russell Westbrook didn't really fit in at first. They missed the playoffs. Keep in mind, lots of people picked the Lakers to win it all. Joseph, the pass delivers. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. And looking out some numbers for Westbrook. Some nice work from him over the last 10 games. Putting up about 18 points per, eight assists, and five rebounds. But you look at the rebound totals, and it's a big part of what he does for this team. He has veracity down low. He sets the tone for this club night in and night out. 102 left to play here in the first. Here's Bryant. Got a piece of it. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. That's your ball. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Detroit Pistons. They trail by one. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Lakers team. Yeah, and a pair of losses for them in their meetings last season. And the cold hard truth about it, they just had a hard time beating anybody last year. Now here's Westbrook. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Left side, Bryant. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. The Pistons have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Burks against Westbrook. Burks with it. 
He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Lakers ahead, leading by just one. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And give a big round of applause to you on the regular just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Lakers here so far, guys. We really thought that everything seemed to fall into place for them in that first quarter. Sometimes you have a quarter where everything just goes according to plan. Superb start to this game for them. So much of the schedule still in front of us, Steve. However, some teams are really struggling early here. Yeah, Kevin, uh, and those teams, they can't lose their confidence because it's a long season. And sometimes you just don't have the talent to beat other teams, but you must stay focused and try to get better every night. They'll go small with LeBron at the four and Davis at the five. Kendrick Nunn out there with Russell Westbrook, and it's Reeves in at the three. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. The Pistons trailing. That's to Joseph. Here's Bay, James covering. LeBron against Bay. Five to shoot. Throws it up high. And Duran slams it in. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's James. There's the pass to Reeves. That one drops for him. Reeves has got his first basket. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Here's Joseph. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And catch and release, not just about fishing. Sadiq Bey last season with the fourth most catch and shoot triples made in the NBA. Reeves can't hit. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Pass to Bay. Goes up from the top of the key. And James pulls it down. James has got four rebounds in this game. Ray, you were talking about how Bay is always in motion. He's always working so well off the ball, isn't he? He is, Kevin. One of the league leaders in ground covered over the course of the season. And with all his minutes played, you know he's in tip-top shape. Now here's Westbrook. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. LeBron kicks to nine. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. And LeBron, LeBron with the lead. James has got his second basket of the night. Dominant, I mean a dominant play from LeBron James on the offensive of glass, ensuring his team gets their points. Now, here's Ivy, defended by none. Detroit, no good that time either. Lakers leading by three. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Davis setting the pick for LeBron. Nice move. And Davis with the basket on the assist by LeBron. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Pistons trail by five. Out to the right wing. Bay against James. Passes it to Ivy. There's a screen. And again, it's the Pistons missing. To me, there's a fine line between being aggressive and just flat out forcing it. His inability to make shots right now is sinking the ship. The super work on the boards. Boy, they really want to put their foot down on him now. Yeah, and once you've got him on the ropes, Greg just keeps swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Get up, get down, get your Lakers. So Detroit ends up going with the new group. All right, a chance to see stats for Anthony Davis. He's been dominant over the last month. 
putting up about 24 points per, 11 rebounds, and two assists. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. You know what? It's part effort, part instincts. You see teams trying to keep a body or two on him, but that's easier said than done. Now here's Hayes. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Bagley dishes to Hayes. Loud pass to Bagley. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Walker taking his time here. Twitter passes to Walker. Davis with it. Pass to Bryant. Six to shoot. Let's it go from deep. Bagley with the rebound. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Detroit Pistons. Seven point differential. And Greg, beyond the lottery picks, this Pistons team has a lot of young players looking to make a name for themselves. Second round picks are guys let go by their first team. There's an underdog quality to the roster. Guys hungry to prove they belong. Pistons trail by seven. Diallo wins up. Defended by Bryant. To the left wing. Descano Anderson, the pass to Walker. Nifty move. And the dunk by Walker. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Now a timeout called by Detroit. It's now time for our T-shirt giveaway. Let's hear you get loud. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the half. Beverly against Burks. Bagley sets a screen for Burks. Over Beverly. Detroit, no good that time either. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Now, here's Schroeder. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Lock at six. Fires for three. No good there. And we've reached halftime in this one. Figures ahead. Scoring 10 on answer to finish off the quarter. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, you guys are down right now. How do you get back into the game? Well, the thing about it is we got to have some want to, uh, some defensive toughness, some grit. We're not playing with that. I saw none of that in our first uh, first few minutes of the game. I've got to see some focus and some fire. I know you'll look out for it, Case. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Greetings, everybody. Before we review the first half, let's take an early season peek at how the Western Conference is shaking out so far. You've got your elite teams, and on the other end, how should we put it? The, uh... And now coming back to this game, a strong first half for the Los Angeles Lakers. 
They get the Shaq seal of approval on how they went to work in the paint. Nothing fancy, nothing over the top, just putting on the gloves and going to work. And they're not just getting good looks. They're getting great looks and finishing strong. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Pistons trail by nine on the floor for Detroit. We've got Sadiq Bey. He's out there with Ivy. Then it's Bagley. And it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward position. Can't lose track of Bogdanovich defensively as he doesn't need much time to get his shot off. Brown the pass to LeBron. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Pistons. Ivy's got four rebounds now tonight. And with Ivy, he gives you the physical traits you want at guard. Long, strong, so athletic, good. lots of upside. Aggressive move coming out of the half, penetrating into the heart of the defense. That was a good play call, attacking with the right guy in the right situation. About one minute played here in the second half. Hayes finds Bay. Shoots. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And Ivy is especially effective in the open floor. Outstanding burst and speed. Plays with a high motor. And he's always in attack mode. Now here's James. Everly for three. And they get it back. Davis with a screen on Bogdanovich. And it's Davis finishing it off. A dominant presence, AD. So smooth in pick and roll situations. Has the agility and the great hands on the catch. Here's Hayes. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Bagley with a screen on Brown. Bogdanovich, no luck. Los Angeles leading by six. Loads it up for Davis. And Davis throws it down. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. The pass to Bogdanovich. Bagley with a screen on Brown. Here's Bogdanovich. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Davis. Expectations for the Lakers are always high. And it's led to some disappointment in the past few seasons. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah, a lot of disappointment. The Lakers build a roster, Steve, of some of the most proven veteran players in the league, too. And when healthy, that pays big dividends. But if those vets lose time to injury, it can be tough to have success. We've seen that happen in L.A., Kevin. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for the Lakers. Westbrook comes in for Patrick Beverly. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Davis setting the pick for James. His three-pointers off the mark. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just four points at the basket from Joseph. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Now, here's none. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Davis gets to Westbrook. Davis with a screen on Joseph. Here's Westbrook again, Los Angeles. No hesitation right there. Westbrook can make you pay when you leave him space in the mid-range. 
Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Here's Westbrook, and Westbrook throws it down. Never forget what Russ can do in the air. He can be so agile. Joseph, the pass to Bogdanovich. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. As a well-known three-point shooter that you were, Steve, what do you think about how that shot dominates the modern game we watch today? What I love about Kevin, first of all, it gives you spacing, spacing, spacing. And you're never out of a game because of the three-point shot. You can get right back into it. And also, at the end of a game, you knock down three or four in a row, the game is over. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Ryan is checked in for Anthony Davis. And Toscano Anderson subbed in for Brown. Both shots good from the strike. It's been a little over a decade, Steve, since the Pistons last made real noise in the playoffs. They've had a tough run of it lately, but rebuilding periods are never pretty, Kevin. They just need time to get back to contender status. And thinking back to that 2017 MVP season for Russell Westbrook, Steve, you know, he averaged a triple-double. Kevin, what's incredible to me, Russ did it three straight years with OKC. Then again with the Wizards. Westbrook's numbers are out of this world. That free throw, no good. And really, whatever your take on Russell Westbrook is now, you can't deny his place in NBA history. Voted as one of the NBA's top 75 players of all time. Dennis Schroeder's checked in for Kendrick Nunn. Noel's checked in for Detroit. Good on the second free throw. Greg, it is impossible to argue against Westbrook belonging to that top 75 players list, isn't it? It, it really is, Kevin. I mean, his career numbers and accomplishments speak for themselves. A very unique player, easily one of the best during this prime. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Nobody near Schroeder, and the Lakers with another miss. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Pistons. Trailing by four. And Noel kicks to Burks. Noel sets a screen for Burks. Shoots over Bryant. To the wing right side. Knox. Here's Durham. Tough break there. Shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. The drive by Schroeder. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll defend home court against the San Antonio Spurs. Then on Tuesday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And for that game against the Spurs, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. And the first one drops. And you know, Dennis Schroeder, from the moment he came into the league, showed tremendous confidence. He's never been the type to back down. The Lakers making a switch here. Reeves is checked in. Then for the Pistons, Livers is checked in. And Diallo subbed in for Corey Joseph. Now, Burks. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's Livers missing. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Bryant with a screen on Burks. It's Westbrook with the drive. Takes it off the glass. Westbrook's got seven points. Russ with no reservations about sticking his nose in there. That's a great play. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Now, here's Burks. It's good. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook's got nine points in the quarter. His ability to change his pace and direction is so quick. 
That's one of the reasons Westbrook is special when handling the rock. And so it's Los Angeles holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back right after this. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. They're just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Okay, man. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Los Angeles leading by eight. We've got Patrick Everly. He's out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Davis at the five down low. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now here's Davis. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Pass to Ivy. Launches it. Goes back up. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's his first. Who doesn't love that effort? Bondanovich chasing the board and helping out any way he can. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Los Angeles? I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And another thing, the defense didn't clog the lanes. They took full advantage with their ability to attack the paint on a lot of those possessions. Now here's Davis. Passes it to Beverly. And that one falls coming off of Davis' feet. Beverly's got his first points of the night. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Second team. Shooting for Detroit. Boyan Bogdanovich at the line for two. First free throw is good. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. You know, a pretty consistent score throughout the course of his career. Bogdanovich, he was just born to get buckets. Davis, the pass to Brock. Outside, Walker. The shot from the low post is good. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. And Hayes kicks to Bay. Bay with a screen on Walker. The shot by Ivy, no good. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. Walker the pass to James. Loads it up for Davis, and finished off by Davis. Back in the day, big man will carry your offense. Times have changed, but 80s, one who can still do it. Now, here's Ivy. Bogdanovich looking around. That one, no good. Great D that time from Davis. Round against Bogdanovich. Screen by James. Back to Brown. Pass to LeBron. Outside for Davis. No good from outside. Pistons trail by nine. the pass to Hayes. The dish to Ivy. Pass to Bogdanovich. A three ball. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Passes to Ivy. Yeah. 
and out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Lakers. And the Pistons make it a change here. Durin's checked in. All the Pistons. Durin. And the Lakers have possession. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Down low. Here's Beverly. And foul Wilson on the shot. Foul. So he'll get a chance Killian at the line. That's it's going to go on Killian Hayes. Patrick Beverly is ball. an irritant. You hate playing against him. Love Patrick. playing with him. Patrick Beverly. Two shots. The first one falls. You really wouldn't know what size he is because Patrick Beverly gives you toughness at that point guard position. And he's physical. All three throws, good from Beverly. They're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Los Angeles. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. You guys, I was able to listen in on what Dwayne Casey went over with his team. To be honest, he was fired up. He asked his team, how badly do you want this? Because those guys over there, they're going to give it everything they've got, which means we have to do the same. We'll see if they can match them emotion for emotion. Kevin? Thanks, David. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Here's LeBron. Two minutes remain in the Kicks to Walker. Two minutes. Around the pass to James. Another shot. In deep, Davis drops it in. Davis has got the lead up to 11 now for Los Angeles. The team relies on Davis for this. Keeping the play alive and finishing at the rim. Ivy passes to Duran. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Davis. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. Now, here's Ivy. 103 left in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Durin. And Durin slams it in. Quality pass from Sadiq Bay. Recognizing the overcommitment and making the D pay for it. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for Los Angeles. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders, and on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds so as well, Kevin. Yeah. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Anthony Davis. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive, he was efficient, and the defense had no answer. Now, here's Westbrook. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony, a great team victory. What was most satisfying to you about the win tonight? Uh, we just played hard. You know, we just played for each other. The ball was moving, wasn't sticking. It. You know, God made the right plays. 
know, and that's what we've been doing all night, all season, and I'm just glad we came out with the win. Well, it was a great win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, our New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis.